more on the radar than you were this time a year ago. Do you feel that? Is there the possibility that the pressure now amps up a little bit? No, I don't. I don't really feel that much pressure from anybody. And um, you know, I, basically with this team last year, with with the uh, partnership that we had. So I know a lot of the guys here. Uh, Randy delights with Entretti. So uh, it's not like I'm coming into a high pressure situation at all. Next on the checklist for the number 12 team. Yeah, uh, we're making a change right now. Um, I won't say what it is, but uh, just to check some some boxes, I guess, on setup items that we had. Obviously, we had a pretty big list, but it's been narrowed down to six hours of testing. So I uh, got a couple of hours left to go. Try this and um, keep working away. Speaking of that large list, you've got. Two obviously very accomplished full-time teammates, and Joseph Newart and Simon Pagano. How do you guys split up that list? Uh, I think we all had our own list uh, of similar things, so you get three different points of view on it. Um, then we'll all go back and kind of discuss what we thought. So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what everyone thinks. You know, it's changed quite a bit, quite a bit more weight up top there and weight forward. The car feels good. I mean, you don't even notice the windscreen. It's, it's very good. That's what I was getting ready to ask. Do you feel that shift in the higher center of gravity with the addition of the aero screen? Uh, you do in the fast stuff, yeah, and, and change of direction. You definitely feel a bit more lazy uh, in the front. But, man, you don't really, honestly, if you, I wouldn't even know I had it on. Once you go out there and you're driving, you're focused, you don't even know that you've got a windscreen. What have you learned in this short time? Yeah, it's true that the weather was not what we wanted, uh, especially only having like two tests, uh, two days of testing before the first race. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. We can change that. Um, now it's been great. Uh, it's not perfect because there are some wet patches, uh, especially um, third sector. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is, and it's the same for everybody. So we're learning, uh, still learning the car, the tires, um, how to talk with the engineers. It's different here as uh, other places, but uh, I'm having fun getting used to the car, and I think we are pretty fast. It's, uh, it's a new year, so we, uh, you know, we need to uh, understand the aero screen, um, how it feels with the race car. It's certainly a change in uh, the way the car behaves. As you can imagine, there's more weight on the front of the car uh, with the canopy. So, uh, first of all, you have to figure out how much air you want to have into your helmet, into the cockpit, the vision effect, and then figure out what to do with the, the chassis to make the car behave the way you want it. So right now we, we're doing some experiment on the 22. Um, things that we thought would maybe help compared to last year. Uh, we, we're experimenting right now. So, um, so we, we're going through the list. And when we come home, we'll, uh, we'll look at every changes, what it did, and then we'll put the recipe together.
it's obviously a whole new ball game this year with the arrow screen. Uh, there's more cars, the competition just keeps <laughs> ramping up. So even though we were good at some places last year, it doesn't guarantee anything for 2020. So everyone has a blank slate and it's just about um, the team and drivers that are able to adapt the quickest and uh, hopefully we can be that team and driver.